Todd Manley here. Just wanted to check in and say hi to everybody. We've got a new carpet layout going on. I've known Eric and the NorCal Hobbies family ever since they moved into this facility with the dirt. And I uh, got my first taste of some carpet track up in Portland up at uh, PDX Underground. I was really impressed and when I saw that Eric was making the switch. Uh, got me out of uh, hibernation and, and some of these buggies that are piling up behind me and uh, brought me out. So I'm happy to be back and looking forward to racing tonight. Hey guys, it's Eric. Uh, behind me is race number two, uh, Friday night. Definitely pretty packed tonight. Um, a lot of racing action. A couple things to be in, keep in mind when you come out to NorCal is to make sure that you have a chassis film underneath your car, which prevents screws from backing out, dragging on the carpet, ruining our carpet. Other thing, are, if you have a carbon fiber shock tower with forward facing screws, you need to make sure that you got a Lexan piece covering your front shock tower. Really easy to do. I've seen people make these out of caps that go on detergent bottles or spray bottles. A uh, really good way to do it. A product available from Arma uh, for their 6S cars. This is adapted by Dean Rawlinson. Uh, they're $4 for the set of four, so that's enough to do four shocks. Really easy way to keep our track lasting as long as possible in as good a condition as possible. The main changes I would start with is uh, the shock package and sway bars for sure. That would make it easier to drive by a, a long shot. The big thing with the carpet is there's a lot of traction. It's a lot different. Dirt, the dirt we had before had a lot of traction, but not like this. I don't want people to think that they have to come out to NorCal Hobbies and use specific carpet tires. You can run the Positrons or Electrons that you're used to, or even your kit tires, they'll work just fine. As a matter of fact, these are wedges from Proline, and they're more they're directional like what you see in a two-wheel drive pattern. Uh, if you run a pin tire up front, actually the cars just simply steer too much and become really edgy, so the trend has been towards more of that of a two-wheel drive tire onto a four-wheel drive car. What's up guys, it's Lex Tyler over here at NorCal Hobbies in San Jose. It's a Friday night and it looks like there's a huge turnout over here. This carpet has really, really low wear on the tires. Uh, the track is really nice, it's really challenging. Some of these guys are getting down to the low 15s and um, I think a lot of these uh, dirt racers are actually coming over here because it's a different setup. Uh, we're obviously using the narrower tires or harder. And um, if you come check it out at NorCal Hobbies, I think you guys will have a great time. I'm Lex Tyler, thank you.